Boy, Coach, uh, this one today uh, really had to kind of grind a little bit and offensively. I know some mistakes maybe on the base paths at times. I wiped out some leadoff guys, but uh, bottom line is four solo home runs. Maybe not the way you'd like to do it, but uh, got the job done for you this afternoon. Yeah, it's not how you want to draw it up. Uh, I was proud of our guys early. Got some leadoff guys on and, um, you know, and then, of course, made some base running mistakes. But at the same time, we have to. I mean, we have to take chances. Um, a little bit disappointed with, with Henry's just the first one just because, um, you know, you just don't know what, what the you know the pitcher is going to do. At the same time, Coach Collins and Coach Carlson had a really good scouting report put together, and uh, we really felt like we could take advantage of, of something we thought we saw on, on some film, and it didn't happen. And uh, so he ended up picking us off twice, which was disappointing. But uh, at the same time, you know, I don't want our guys to, to not be aggressive on the bases. I mean, we had 10, 10 for the weekend, and uh, that's that's – impressive but uh, you know we, we got to take some chances sometimes with all that you know uh, pitching wise today Nicholas Judis will start with him four innings in the start and uh, got in a little trouble in the first got some help that ground ball and an interference call to get him out of the inning and uh, settled in it seemed like for a little bit ran into a little more trouble but kind of worked through it what did you see from him today yeah I saw some nerves there early uh, definitely uh, from from the young guy but at the same time he's a competitor uh, he made some adjustments in, in between the the first and the second inning we talked about a few things and uh, you know I thought he went out there and kind of settled in a little bit but uh, getting the double play was huge um, you know from their four hole hitter and, and all that good stuff but uh, yeah I was impressed with him you know the second third and fourth the first <laughs> inning was a little little shaky had Brock down there early but uh, you know I'm proud of Nicholas and, and you know where he's at and uh, we, we I, I'm expecting big things from him. Brock today four innings out of the pen uh, shuts them out for four innings just uh, an extended period on the mound for him as well when all things considered a six pitch seventh inning I think led to that discussion about him coming out for the eighth just yep. uh, what did you see from Brock today? Well uh, I, th I think he, he spun the baseball really well uh, you know th they're an aggressive fastball hitting team and I thought he spun his slider and his curveball really well um, I thought he got ahead in the count um, extremely well and um, you know Worm and him were on a, on a pretty good you know rhythm and everything and uh, after the seventh I was going to take him out and uh, Worm and, and uh, kind of talked me into sending him back out there for the eighth. And uh, I was proud that, that he kind of, you know, fought through the leadoff double and uh, was able to hang a zero. And uh, we had to get Landon back out there. And, um, you know, I was expecting to use him a little bit more than, than we needed to, than, than we did today. But at the same time, hey, that's part about the bullpen. And uh, I was proud of those guys. Hated that he gave up the solo home run there. I uh, thought it was probably a bad pitch call between all of us. But uh, at the same time, uh, you know, he came right back and got the next guy. To get a series, uh, two out of three, to drop the Friday game and rebound against a team that was in a regional a year ago, just how important is it to learn that here in the non-conference? It's now we're two weeks out from Sunbelt play. Yeah, winning series is, is extremely important for this program and for these guys to learn how to do it. You know, we've got a lot of returning players that know what it's like to do it because we did it a few times last year. Um, but to, to understand and know that you, you're going to lose sometimes different days and, um, you know, a couple weeks ago we lost we, we lost on a Sunday, you know, so um, you know, it is what it is but we've, we've got to be able to fight through some things and sometimes you lose on Friday night, you got to find a way to respond on Saturday and then more importantly win a series because ultimately at the end of the year when you're talking about conference play, if you win more series than anybody else, you got a chance to win a championship and uh, if we can do that um, like we've been playing we got we got a chance. Well now it gets set, uh, Jackson State in here for the midweek but then uh, another challenging weekend series yeah. next week at McNeese against another regional team. Uh, just what do you want to see this next week in particular as you really start to tune up for Sunbelt play? Well, I think it's important that we get on the road. You know, we were hoping to have the one at least midweek game against Northwestern State that got rained out. Uh, we, we need to get on the road. we got to go through that. Uh, I know we'll be ready for it. We did it in the fall going to Nickel State, and that was part of the reason, sleeping in a hotel and those kind of things. But uh, we got to learn how to do that. Um, you know, we've got, we, we're able, we're very fortunate we are able to travel with our strength coach and he does my gardener does a great job of getting those guys ready to go but we, we got to learn how to do that because getting off a bus is completely different than sleeping in your own bed and all that but uh, I'm excited about this upcoming week with Jackson State midweek and um, of course going on the road to a good McNeese place. Coach, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the win. A series win. We'll hopefully see you back here Tuesday night. Sounds good. Thanks, Mike.